Hey everybody, it is Ed. So, it is Sunday afternoon. What is it? July 30th. And I am here at the movie theater to see a 4 o'clock showing of Reinventing Elvis. Um, from what I understand, there's not even really any footage of Elvis in this, but I'm hoping that's not the case. Um, meeting my father and a couple of uh, buddies of his buddies inside and um, yeah so I'll be back and let's see what's going on I don't anticipate there being many people inside but we shall see all right everybody Stay tuned. So, the greatest entertainer in the world we're coming to see. So, well, we don't know that. It's it, this. We are at the movies to see Reinventing Elvis. And, um, yeah. That's what we got. So, what do we got? 20 minutes of showtime? Nice. It is about, um, 18 people. All right. All right. Anybody outside it? Nope. <laughs> All right, so here we are at the movies, and there's my pop, right? Can you see him? How you doing, Ed? Hey. <laughs> and there's Perry. Hey, right. Ed, show the button. Show and the we got the button. There's the button. I'm the greatest entertainer that ever walked the face of this earth. I go right. berserk. There you go. All right. All right, I guess we'll uh, have my review after. See ya. Hey, everybody, it said. Okay, so... Just got out of the theater. I just watched Reinventing Elvis, Steve Binder's recollection of the NBC 1968 TV special. And not what I expected. I was actually quite entertained by this. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, I was under the impression that there were no scenes of Elvis from the special and that was wrong because there were plenty of of uh, scenes behind the scenes and other features as well interviews from people who were involved and just basically a documentary around the not only the time frame of when the special was created but also uh, explaining the relationship between Elvis and the Colonel and Elvis, uh, Elvis's rise to stardom and the time of, of, uh, you know, where his career was at the time of the TV special and basically the creation of it. And it was, it was very well done. It was interesting. And I have to say overall, I, I enjoyed it very much. Um, it was shown as a one day event uh, in the movie theaters and I'm not exactly sure, but it might already be released on Paramount Plus. So, um, I'm going to actually check into that, but as of right now, um, I fresh out of the theater, uh, I think there were about 25 to 30 people that wound up coming in. So at least it wasn't just us in there and um yeah it, it you know we met some people and it was it was a nice time and i enjoyed it that's that's pretty much what i can say so if uh you weren't able to get to the theater to go and see it i highly recommend checking it out on paramount plus if it comes out on blu-ray definitely worth checking out and there were a real um there's some very interesting aspects of it i just thought it was going to be you know about two hours of of steve bender self-aggrandizing saying how great he was for you know reinventing elvis and and making the special so successful and he was responsible for it being that you know that, that's what i was pretty much thinking it was going to be and of course maybe not that grand but it wasn't and so i was i was um I was happy to see that. And and overall, I would say I'm going to give it four and a half out of five. Four and a half out of five. So there you have it. All right. But, you know, not really so much to give away. Again, it's a documentary. Uh, there is a lot of Steve Binder in it. 
There is a lot of photos in it. The way it's put together was very well done. Uh, music in it, video in it. Again, a lot of things from the TV special. Interviews with people who are in the audience, people who are part of the special. Steve himself. And overall, very well done. Um, I, I kind of like the way that they, they segue into how they're going to talk about the Colonel. Um, very well done. Don't want to give it away. I mean, not that it's a spoiler or anything, but again, just you, you, you take notice of it as, as you're watching the movie. All of a sudden you see uh, like a, a blurry, you know, red filter type picture screen with a cigar just being lit up. And then all of a sudden they'll start talking about the Colonel. And then when you see that again, they'll start talking about the Colonel. So that was basically the segue of them talking about the Colonel uh, during the movie. There was something else that was uh, sticking out in my mind that I did want to bring up and talk about, but as I'm babbling here, I, I, I can't recall what it was. So overall, again, just worth seeing. And if you have Paramount Plus when it's available, I would definitely... So in my car, my phone just shut down because it's overheating. So with that being said, let me end this review with saying it's a stellar four and a half out of five stars. And again, it's called Reinvented Elvis. And that's it. If you saw it, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're looking forward to seeing it, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you all watching. My father enjoyed it as well, and so did Perry and Mike when he eventually showed up. All right, everybody. Good to yourselves. Good to each other. Take care.